no, it isn't a problem, and no, ascended consciousnesses are not concerned about it. This is a fear component, and any message that has a fear component associated with it should automatically be thrown in a garbage can. Is that all on that question? Yes, thank you. All right, next question. There is a theory that the Earth's solar system travels through an energy cloud in the galaxy every 26,000 years that changes consciousness. What are they describing? All right. Uh, let us look through his consciousness and understand this concept that he's thinking of. Okay, so he's seeing the solar system is oscillating as it's moving. Okay, so we're going to stop for just a second. We're going to descri describe the galactic construct just a little bit more. He's got a really good concept of it in the book, and, and we like that. That's really good. As you create a system construct, it is spatially situated inside your rotating consciousness, and it's locked in place. And this is, this is the matter, the, the gravity and the rotational spins and, and all of the other sci scientifically explainable phenomena that you observe. This, this is all the same in every galaxy everywhere. All of these physics, all of this that you observe are all the same. It's always going to be the same because these are the rules that can't be changed. Other rules can be changed by the galactic consciousness, but these rules are, are foundational. This is just the, the basis of everything is how it all operates. All right, so you start your, your system, and uh, as we've previously stated, the first ones start near the center, and then you stack them outwards, and that's required because of the way things are spinning and the rotational um, basis of everything. The mechanics require that. You start at the nucleus and you work outwards, and you build upon your creations, and they're all held in place by each other, and the gravity and the rotation and the spin. And Todd's watching it now. He's watching on being created inside a galactic consciousness because he is a, a portion of a galactic consciousness, so he can see it. And it's all going in. He's seeing colors now. He used to only see black and white. He's starting to see colors now, and it's just making it. <laughs> and it's like that Dormammu thing in the in the in the Doctor Strange is what he's looking at. <laughs> okay, so anyway, it's the sphere is set, all right, and it and it rotates around the center of this supermassive black hole in an equatorial. It doesn't have to be equatorial, but the first ones are going to be an equatorial. And then you can start putting upper and lower and around and down and, and all of that. As you see in the Milky Way galaxy, your spiral arms, they all extend in an equatorial line from the center with, with some undulations. But for the most part, it's pretty much straight, and it comes out, and it's like this little arm that's spinning around. Okay, so within the system, the system itself is moving within this spatially locked rotational dynamic. And this is what Todd is seeing in his head, that the, the scientists, or the pseudoscientists as you call them, are, are saying that the Earth is moving in this rotational geometry as it's spinning through its galactic construct. And there's additional energy in one portion as there is from another portion There, there are some um, areas that are going to have more creational energy within them than others based upon th what we've just discussed and the dynamics of consciousness and when their ascension happens and, and that sort of thing before they ascend beyond and they collect enough to be able to become their own galactic construct. As far as the Earth hitting them every 26,000 years, that's conjecture. It's um, hypothesis that have been put together. Looking at rotation, uh, looking at the cycles of the planet, uh, the ascension cycles that that happen, and then they're trying to apply energies to them and and that sort of thing because they can see the energy pockets that are out there in, in the galaxy. They don't understand where they're coming from or why they're there. Um, the answer is no. There isn't any energy. Every twenty six thousand years, the Earth does not transit through a higher energy. Uh, the plane of the galactic consciousness on purpose to force ascension. Ascension can't be forced. Ascension is independent and individual, and it has to be by the conscious awareness of the 
individual consciousness. You can't just bombard the photonic density of a consciousness with creational energy and have it expand on purpose. That's, that's, that's not the way that it's going to work now as consciousness is evolving. So we're going back to this concept of running through energy waves and forcing the ascension of consciousness. And in this discussion, we're telling you that that's not going to happen. The forcing of the ascension of consciousness is not going to happen because that's basically cheating. And we're not cheating the games because we'd be cheating you in, out of your experience and your individual wavelength of, of experience. And that's what makes consciousness so special and so diverse and so beautiful is its individual experience that gives it its own individual wavelength creating the membrane around the consciousness to keep it its own individual consciousness 